Welcome to the Feel Your Best Formula podcast. Are you over 40 and tired of struggling with your weight, dieting, and constantly feeling like you're starting over with nutrition and fitness? Do you wish you had more energy? Do you want to lose weight and finally keep it off for good? I'm Lil, a certified nutrition coach and former registered nurse. I too have been there, and at the age of 44, I decided I was done with fad diets and chasing a lower number on the scale. I was so tired of constantly starting over and wondering why I couldn't get lasting results. I became a nutrition coach and created the Feel Your Best formula for women who want to build muscle, lose fat, and keep it off for good. If you're ready to build a better relationship with food, the scale, and your body, let's build your formula for feeling your best. If you're new here, make sure to check the episode details for the link to my newbie starter guide. You'll receive an email straight to your inbox with everything you need to start building your Feel Your Best formula. I'm so glad you're here. Now let's dive into today's episode. Hey, yeah, happy Friday. This is Lil popping up in your podcast feed with a quick mini session. I have shared this story on my Instagram stories pretty shortly after it happened, and that was probably a couple months ago. But I was thinking about it this morning during my workout, and I really wanted to share it here because when I shared it on my Instagram stories, so many of you commented, oh my gosh, I never thought of things that way. So here's the story. I was at the grocery store. We have a little grocery store called Market Basket here in New England, which it's one of those things, if you know, you know, (laughs) they have the best prices and the lines are almost always long. And I had made the mistake of going in the middle of the day towards the afternoon when it's just really busy. So I had quite a bit of time in line and I was behind this guy who he looked similar in age to me, maybe a few years younger, probably his mid 40s. And you could tell he worked out. It's just one of those things you glance at someone and some people, it is just very obvious that they spend time lifting weights. And I didn't think much of it, looking at my groceries, thinking about what I got to do next. You know, you know how it goes when you're at the grocery store, you're wishing you could be moving on to the next thing on your list. And the cashier at the checkout was a young kid. I ended up finding out that he was 16. And as soon as the guy gets up in line, he says to him, he said, hey, I I saw you there. And I I just got to ask, he's like, I can tell you, I can tell you work out. He's like, what's your max bench press? And the guy tells him, he's like, oh, it's like 300, whatever. I personally don't remember what the exact number was, but he knew. It's one of those things in life. I think for women, we know what our lowest weight on the scale is. And for men, they know how much they can bench press. And so he tells him it It was definitely it had a three in front of it. And he said, you know, but that was a few years back. I don't uh, bench press quite that heavy anymore. And the kid said, oh, my God, that is awesome. That's like goals. How'd you do it? You know, like, I want to, I want to get strong. I want to get fit. I, I want to have muscles like you someday. And this is where they had my full attention. Because the answer that the guy gave him was the complete opposite that a woman would give another woman when receiving a compliment. So first of all, if you're a woman and someone is commenting on your physique or your fitness level or how you look and they're complimenting you, what are they saying? They're saying, oh my God, you look so skinny. How did you lose the weight? Oh my God, how how fast did you lose it? How long did it take? And... 
we are hoping that the person says, oh my gosh, it just took me like six weeks to do this, to, to, to shed the weight. And we are looking for quick fixes as women. Now, what this gentleman said to the boy working the checkout was he said, oh man, he's like, there's a lot to it more than I can tell you just standing here in line. But I'll tell you, it took me about six years from when I started weightlifting until I was able to bench press that 300 pounds. And it takes a lot of time. You got to have patience. You got to eat a lot of food and you got to be consistent. And you also got to give your body rest. And if you don't want to be overweight, you know, you don't want to have too much fat, then you also got to make sure you're really active. He said, I'm lucky. I have a really active job. I work in construction. I'm busy all day. And he's like, those are the basics. But most importantly, you have to understand it's going to take you a really long time. You're young and you probably wouldn't even be able to get there until you were in your early 20s or mid 20s. But start now and you can get there. And this is what he said to the boy. And I was just looking at him, at him mentally, my jaw is on the ground because number one, Oh, he's giving him 100% accurate information. Number two, the kid is like, yeah, yeah, I know it's going to take time. I know it doesn't happen overnight. I mean, eating muscle, yeah, I know I got to eat a lot of food. I got to eat protein. I, I got to figure this out. He's like, thanks, man. It's an inspiration to see people, you know, like you. And then I ended up chit-chatting with the kid. Of course, he did not ask me <laughs> what my max bench press was. And I could have told him, oh, right now it's 70 pounds. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> um, but we had a nice little conversation. We talked about how he was going to be getting his license soon. And just, you know, I said to him, I have kids your age that work out. And, you know, that is so great that you're starting this process. But what really struck me about that whole back and forth between them was, number one, the immediate acceptance by the kid that it was going to take him a long time to get the results he wanted. And I just thought about my decades, my 30 plus years of being a woman of thinking about my weight, of thinking of getting fit. And it has always been how fast can I get there? And until the past two years, it never even occurred to me that it was something that was going to take a long time. Now I know that it's going to take a long time because two years ago I started building muscle and I understood that I probably wouldn't even really see my first gains in strength for about, you know, three months or so. And now that it's been two years and I can see how much stronger I am and I follow people who lift really heavy. I follow women who use double the weight that I'm using now and I know that it is my goal to get there. I have a personal goal of being able to use 20 pound weights for my bicep curls. I'm at 15. I started at five. I know I'll get there. But you know what? It could take me two more years or more to get there because that is how it works. And you need to eat and you need to give yourself rest. And it's a whole process. But how interesting that when it comes to men, they don't think twice about the fact that it's going to take a long time. They don't think twice about the fact that they can tell each other, hey, dude, it's going to take you five plus years to get to this point. And the kid was not at all like, oh, well, that sucks. I'm not going to do it then, you know, but. When I tell women it's going to take you six plus months before you are even at a point where we should think about fat loss, a lot of them really struggle with this. And I get it because I struggled with it too. But that right there, that little story about what I saw in 
the grocery store line is just an example of society's expectation on men and expectation on women. And it take, takes courage to break free of what society tells us women should be, that we should be small, that it doesn't matter if we're strong. All that matters is how we look. In particular, I think um, making yourself appear a certain way so that men will find you attractive. I think that's something that we need to realize is the reason why we are told that we should look a certain way. Why do you think that so many women get plastic surgery and get big boobs and BBL butt stuff? Is it because other women want to look at them looking like that? Or is it because that is what currently men are finding attractive in our society? I could get a little deeper with this, a little more meta, but this mini session, I really hope gives you some food for thought in that if you are struggling, if you're feeling stuck, maybe it's time to change your perspective. As soon as I started focusing on getting stronger, and by stronger, I mean going up on the weights that I'm lifting. If you've been working out for years, like I did, I worked out for years and I never really went up on my weights. I kind of just used those same weights for a very long amount of time. The only reason I have such an extensive, uh, heavy weight option for me is because my husband and my boys needed to get really heavy weights. And I never really saw myself using the 40, 50 plus pound weights. I never really saw myself using, we have a half rack with a bench press. I always just kind of saw myself using my 10s, 15s, maybe some 20s. Because the people that I was following, the programs that I was doing, that's what the women were doing in those programs. Nobody was lifting heavy. I now lift heavier than the trainers that I was following for all those years. I use 25, 30 pounds for one arm rows. I'm using 40 to 50 pounds for certain lower body moves. My upper body moves, I am, I've never felt so strong. And that is the area that I have the most pride with my strength gains. But when you start focusing on how heavy you can lift versus watching the number on the scale go down, there is a certain level of confidence that comes with that, that you cannot get by chasing a lower number on the scale. And understanding that it's going to take you time to get there is the ultimate hack for finally getting the results that you're looking for is having that patience, which I've talked about on here before. So I hope this little story, like I said, helps you think about things differently. And sometimes we need to think beyond ourselves and think about why we have the thoughts we have in our head. And quite often it's because other people have put those thoughts in our head, like society in general, commercials, perhaps your mother, your grandmother, your sister, your friends, the people you follow on social media. And so maybe start deciding for yourself the thoughts that you want to have in your head that are actually going to help you reach those goals that you want. And the goal that you want isn't necessarily to get skinny. It's to feel better. That's ultimately what we want. When we work towards any sort of goal, it's because how we want to feel. So I hope that you can, you know, take out your earbuds, take a deep breath, go for a little walk and just ask yourself, do I have the patience to work towards goals that really matter? Or do I want to keep chasing goals that just constantly feel out of reach? All right, that's it for today's mini session. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll be back here on Monday with a brand new full episode of the Feel Your Best Formula podcast. 
Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode of the Feel Your Best Formula podcast. If you haven't already, make sure to check the episode details for my new listener starter guide and any additional resources mentioned in the episode can also be found in the show notes on my website. You can always find me on Instagram at Macros with Lil. And for more healthy lifestyle tips, recipes, and information on my one-to-one and group coaching services, make sure to check out my website. All the links can be found below. If you know someone else who is ready to start building their formula for feeling their best, please share the love and send them a link to the podcast. I hope you found today's episode helpful and I'll see you back here next week for a brand new one.